Welcome to Electron Line, and here we have an interesting circuit with resistors and capacitors. And the ultimate question here would be, between A and B, what would be the capacitance between A and B on the circuit? So that's what we're ultimately trying to find out. And one way to think about it is to see what would happen if we apply a voltage across the terminal. So let's say that we have a battery, and we connect it to A and B like this, and have certain potential difference across it, which means that current would flow down the circuit and into the circuit here, and let's see what would happen. Well, let's take a look at the last two capacitors here on the outside. Since they're not connected to anything, if any charges were to pile up on this capacitor right here, it would drive away charges on the other side of the capacitor, but they have nowhere to go because there's no connection to the circuit, so you would see that this capacitor acts like it's not there, and same over here, since there's no place for the charges to go here or for any charges to arrive, there's no way that charges could pile up on this capacitor, so it is as if it's not there. Okay, in its steady state, state here, if the charge is allowed to continue to, to, um, to uh, flow until the capacitors are completely filled up, whatever that may be, and whatever capacitors may be filling up, you can then see that no current would be flowing through those two resistors. So at that point, at steady state, I here would be zero, and I over here would be zero. Nope. I wanted to say that I is equal to zero. That is at steady state, when the charges stop flowing. And that would of course happen at some point when whatever capacitor fills up with charge does indeed fill up with charge. So if there's no current flowing between this point and this point, this is essentially the same point as this. It is as if that resistor isn't there. And over here as well, if there's no current flowing here, it is as if this resistance isn't there, and this point is the same as that point. So those two points are the same, and those two points are the same in the circuit. Okay. So if there's no potential difference between this point and that point, therefore there's no potential difference between that point and this point, that means that no charges could build up. Because if this has to be at the same potential as this, that means that this is as if it's not there. We can just eliminate that, and therefore those capacitors act as if they're not there. They will not collect any charge. So essentially, this whole circuit will then collapse into a, an equivalent circuit that would look like this. A, B, with a capacitor, a resistor connecting them, and a capacitor on this side, like that, with C and C. And of course, ones that charge to stop flowing, there's no more any current, the resistor would act as if it's not there, and then what we would have then is essentially would have simply two capacitors connected in series, this is A, this is B, and of course two ca capacitors connected in series, we know that the total capacitance is equal to the product over the sum, and so it would be C times C over C plus C, or C squared over 2C, or C divided by 2. And so the total capacitance, that's not a very good looking 2, let's go like this, that's better. So the total capacitance is simply C divided by 2 by the very nature of a circuit like that. And that's how we do that.